Okay, I know what y'all are thinking. That looks great. Weird looking. It is a rainy day. I can feel it. It's rain. It is rain. Good evening everybody. It is time to cook supper on this rainy day. I'm making a skillet steak and potato pot pie. So I just washed these potatoes and I'm gonna cut them pretty thin. And I have some oil heating up in the skillet over here. And we're gonna go ahead and put these in first. Then we're gonna chop up this onion. Jacob and Titus are both gonna be working late tonight. Jake's going to eat with some friends and then they're going back to work for a little bit and Titus is gonna be working late and he's probably just gonna grab him something while he's out. So I was gonna make two of these skillet pot pies. Since they're not gonna be here, I'm just gonna make one. I hope the power doesn't go out. The lights keep blinking. Yeah, so much for that sunshine today. Y'all and Sissy have been working on their little things that we got from Aldi earlier. We mainly took a long nap this afternoon. That rain will make you sleepy. You took a nap yesterday. Now the onion. Sorry, this is a little loud. I'm gonna put some salt and pepper on here. just a little bit more oil and we're gonna put the steak in here now I did get two steaks because like I said I was gonna make two of these but since we're just making the one we'll put this other steak in the freezer on the steak we're gonna try this seasoning that we got from Aldi char grill and roll right here it says it's for steaks and burgers or do we want to try the southern style spice let me smell which one we want to try because this one also says it's for steaks that black pepper is making me sneeze like crazy. Okay, I like the smell of the char grill and roll better, so we're gonna season the steak with that a little bit here. You could totally do it before you put it in the pan, but I like to give on the wild side. Here we go. Okay, so we're gonna sear the steak on both sides. Then I'm gonna remove it and slice it up. The other stuff. Oh. So we're gonna need crescent rolls, brown gravy mix, corn, and you can use frozen vegetables, but I don't think I have any frozen corn. I do have canned corn. So we're gonna use canned corn and green beans, but you can put any other vegetables you want to put in there, or you can just go with the potatoes and onions. Okay, we're gonna bring the steak over here and I'm just gonna slice it up. I went ahead and cut it in half that way too, so we didn't have such big pieces. Those lights keep blinking, y'all. We haven't had any thunder or anything. It's just been rain and a little wind. And you can, of course, get ribeye or whatever kind of steak you want to get. Sirloin's just, you know, most of the time the cheapest, and it was on sale at Ingles. Now, we're going to be putting it back in the skillet. So I know right now, which I mean, that's how some people like their steak, but we're going to be putting it back in in a minute. We're just slicing it up right now. You don't want it to get done at this stage because it is going to be going in the oven for about 15 minutes and it'll keep cooking in there. So you don't want it to get overdone. Okay, so we've got the steak ready. Back over here, before we put the steak in, we're going to put in the pack of brown gravy and how much water it calls for. One cup. So we're going to put the gravy in first and stir it all around with the potatoes and onions. I'm bringing the whisk over for this part because it's going to start uh, making that gravy in here now. And we'll get rid of any clumps. We're going to put the steak back in. Get all mixed in here. 
if it looks a little too dry, we might add some more water before it goes in the oven. We'll see. We still have to add the corn and the beans in here. And you can make this with mashed potatoes too, instead of cooking the potatoes this way. But to keep it all as a one skillet meal, we did it this way. Now we'll put in the green beans. We're gonna put in just a little bit of ground thyme, just about a quarter teaspoon. Oh no, is that a dinosaur? All right, this is looking pretty good. I don't think I need to add any water. Okay, we're turning off the heat. And we're gonna put the crescent rolls on the top. I think one can will be enough. We might have some open spaces, but it'll be fine. You can do this with biscuits too. Now it just goes in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes until the crescent rolls are done on top. It's Maddie and Jonah. I, I'm in the dark. Where did me go? Are you looking at the pictures? Yeah. Look, there's Manny. Yeah. You had a nice smile going on. So my face is red. Yeah, you were eating something, weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Which one's your favorite picture over here? There we go. This one. Oh, is that your favorite? Yeah. What about this one of Jonah? Do you like this one? That's scary. <laughs> Every time I see that one of Jonah, the Growing Pain song gets stuck in my head. It's stuck in your head? Yeah. Okay, I know this may look strange, but it's really pretty good. It tastes like a beef pot pie, but with, you know, steak instead of ground beef or whatever. And the crescent rolls are really good on top. If you don't want the open spots, you know, making it look kind of like a wheel or something, you could use a crescent dough sheet, or like I said, you can use canned biscuits, you know, to make it quick. But the crescent rolls are really good. They stayed soft and just really, I rubbed a little bit of butter on the top of them when it got done. It's really good. Might not look the best, but it's really good. <laughs> Jonah finished painting the volcano. That looks great. He's gonna let it dry tonight, and tomorrow there will be a volcanic it smells eruption. Good. It smells good. Yeah. Hmm, it doesn't really smell like anything. Yeah. Volcano. It smells what? like a volcano. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you picked a fun one tonight, Manny. A loud noise knocked Marcy backward into the cotton candy machine. What was that noise? She asked. Sunday school lady and Marcy were setting up for the church carnival. <laughs> They had snacks and games, everything you'd want for a super fun day. Do you like cotton candy, Manny? Yeah. Do you like blue or pink cotton candy the best? Blue. The front window of Chuck Wagon's Cowboy Store was smashed to bits. some french toast this morning. We're gonna make it out on the Blackstone with some bacon. We're gonna put a couple of tablespoons of sugar. I was gonna put a little coconut extract in here, but instead I think I'm just gonna make it normal. That way if nobody's in the mood for coconut french toast this morning, they can just have normal french toast. But I am gonna toast some coconut flakes on the Blackstone to sprinkle over the top if anybody wants to do that. I think that'll be really good. It would really be good if you added some coconut extract in here because then the french toast itself would have a little coconut flavor. And like I said, I'm not sure if everybody's gonna be feeling that coconut feeling this morning. All this spring-like weather is making me want lemon and coconut everything. I'm gonna go turn on the Blackstone real quick and then we'll get the bread ready. Ooh, some of this thick sliced bread. I do have some cinnamon, is it swirl or just, what is it? Yeah, I do have this cinnamon swirl bread. 
right here, but this is the really thin cut kind, and it's, I mean, it's okay for French toast, but not the best because it's so thin. Now, the Pepperidge Farms swirl bread, this kind came from Aldi. It's just the love and fresh. The Pepperidge Farms kind is really thick, so it works great for French toast, but this is just a little too thin. Good morning. Okay, the French toast is done. We're gonna put just a little bit of coconut on here now. Okay, I know what y'all are thinking, because I thought the same thing. The coconut toasted on the black stone like that looks like hash browns. Shredded hash browns on top of the French toast, kind of weird. It totally looks like shredded hash browns, but it's good, I promise. I know it looks weird, but it's really good. Same thing with last night's supper. Weird looking, but good tasting food. Yes, that's what both of these were. It also made me really want some hash browns and like if you want hash browns you get your hopes up because you think that's hash browns and then you realize it's coconut. Tyler thought it was hash browns too. He thought I was over there sprinkling hash browns on top of my french toast. I promise it's good. It looks weird but it's good. It only looks like that because it was on the blackstone. If you toast them in the oven they'll just look like you know it might still look kind of like hash browns because it's breakfast time but it's good. I promise it's good. Okay we're gonna clean up from breakfast and get the rest of this weird day started. It's Friday and the sun is shining.